I may be seen or viewed as old fashioned. I don't care. I really don't. I'm at a place in my life right now where I'm older and as the days and the years pass, I am more in tune to what life is really all about. Not the preconceived notions, not the superficial uh, or on the surface aspect of what people think life is about. It's much deeper than that. This video is my review on Cardi B's video alongside Megan the Stallion. Video is entitled WAP. What's my review? I'm not going to be before you long. This is really simple. First of all, I don't knock anyone ever for having their hustle to make money and provide for themselves. But what I will say, as a man of principle, I believe that you must have some sort of standards. I can't be intrusive and say I can make you do anything, anyone for that matter. But it doesn't mean that I can't give you my viewpoint on how I see things. How do we know what's wrong in life if we don't know what's right and the same is true conversely how do you know what's right if you don't have anything wrong to balance it by yin and yang so when you point out certain things about issues in life and people have an issue with you and your viewpoint is it because there's something wrong with what you said or is it because you're exposing something that shouldn't exist in the first place Cardi B and Megan the Stallion did a video called WAP and it was very distasteful to me all it promoted was sex nice beat nice graphics nice video techniques and colors and so forth and outfits or costumes but that's a dime a dozen anyone can do that in a studio but all you saw was grinding half their breast hanging out their outfits gyrations sexual grinding during the dances lying down trying to pull an audience of lustful men for one of women who want to be just like them but where's the value ask yourself the question and answer the question where's the value that they're providing from a humanity standpoint what are they promoting that's the other question you need to be asking don't say their music that's too general because we all really know what's in our heart and what we're actually saying we know what we're actually observing when we watch videos like this we are watching women who are loose who are promiscuous who are exploiting their sexuality these women and they're making millions and millions of dollars off of it and they call it entertainment someone's being entertained I would not want it to be my daughters wouldn't want it to be my wife, wouldn't want it to be my granddaughters on stage. I wouldn't want anyone in my family, any woman in my family parading around on the stage on that platform half naked. I have an issue with that and I would have an issue with that. It's unfortunate. Sometimes people go to the point of least resistance. In other words, they try to find an easy way to make money instead of taking their time 
maybe going to some institution of learning, technical school or otherwise, and earning a decent, honorable living. Sometimes people prostitute themselves for quick money. For example, people sell drugs on the street for quick money, instant money. There's a risk involved. And there are people who sell their bodies for quick money, prostitution as it were. And there are some people in a higher echelon in life, in entertainment, who sell their souls for money, for stardom, for fame, if you will. Is it really worth it? Most of them really don't care. There are a small percentage of people who are really unhappy in entertainment. Now, I know that this is Cardi B's grind. This is her life. This is the way she makes her money. Same thing is true with this young lady, uh, Megan D. Stallion, and all of the other rappers and singers that dress this way and have this type of sexual behavior on stage and in videos and when they tour and so forth. But it doesn't make it right. Look at our young generation, our young women that are watching this stuff. Look at the young boys, the teenagers and the middle aged men and the older men watching this stuff. That's where they get their following from. People who support the smut. There is nothing honorable in what they're doing on stage. None whatsoever. I don't care how popular they are. Just because they're popular doesn't make it right. And the question is again, who are they popular with? People who are of the same mind and mentality? This is my take. This is my review on this video. And any other video similar to this or like this. Women, stop showing your asses on video. Have some respect and some dignity for yourself. Excuse me, my YouTube subscribers, for saying asses. The, liter the literal translation of asses is, is a donkey. Okay? But you know we use that term and how we use that term. But women, I'm going to say it again. Stop showing your ass on videos. Stop letting your, your breast hang out to there's nothing left for the imagination of your whole complete body at all. Wearing skin tight tights, as you want to call them spandex and leggings and so forth where men can see the crease of your vagina and all these little clips and these short takes and so forth and you putting all this information in the subconscious mind of the men and your viewers all for ratings all for views all for what it doesn't make you look good i hope um well, that would be the wrong thing to say. I was going to say, I hope you feel good about yourself. Apparently, they do because they're making a hefty lifestyle for themselves. But the sad point of it all is that it's all for themselves. What are you doing for the world, by and large, other than entertaining people by using sexuality and extorting yourself? I'm sorry. That's it. And that's all. My daughters, my granddaughters, if you watch stuff like this, be your own person. Don't pattern yourself after this junk. Anyone that knows me that's a female, any students of mine, any friends of mine, please pass this information along to your children that are females especially. Stop following these examples as these types of individuals being your role models. I have nothing against Cardi B as a person, per se. I have nothing against Megan D. Stallion, per se. But I definitely have something against their behavior and the way in which they're depicting women using sexuality to sell, to make money. What about this? Anything up there other than the filthy mouth and some tight pants and some panties on and your breast almost totally exposed anything else you want you have to offer you do have something else to offer but are you willing to offer that instead of the other thing that you've been offering all along I'm out